France has had a series of cases that basically boil down to secularism versus Islam, and more broadly, secularism versus religious freedom. So to give you an idea of how these cases have turned out, it's very interesting. Uh, the state has banned any overtly religious materials being displayed in public schools. They've banned overtly religious materials from being displayed in all public institutions. They banned overtly religious material in privately run institutions. However, this one, there's a caveat because uh, there was an outcry in response to this, and now the decision is in legal limbo, and it may or may not sway the other way. So there's an asterisk by that one. And then also, earlier this year, there was a case where a girl was excluded from her school after a headband and a long skirt were deemed to constitute overtly religious garb. So uh, a girl in school was dressed like a Muslim woman would be dressed, and uh, they said, you're not allowed to do that, can't wear that. Uh, and the exclusion was later overturned on an appeal, and her parents are now suing the school for racial discrimination. So there's an asterisk by this one as well. And then, of course, there's the infamous uh, former President Nicolas Sarkozy's burqa ban, which uh, outlawed full face veils in public. Now this is also currently being examined by the European Court of Human Rights. So there's multiple different, in fact it's one, two, three, four, five separate examples of secularism versus Islam and government versus religious freedom. So uh, here's how I see it. You should be a secular society as your baseline. That should be the default position, that there's a separation between church and state. I think that functions best, and I think that protects against abuses the best. But you also, and this is where I think France might miss it a little bit, you also have to accommodate for freedom and for people's ability to exercise their religion, or else you become the monster that you're trying to avoid. You become authoritarian and restrictive. And the goal, of course, of separating religion in the first place is to make sure that religion doesn't become authoritarian and restrictive on people's rights. But you could also cross the line in the other direction. You could become too restrictive and too authoritarian in cracking down on religion. So for example, I'm an agnostic, but I'm also a massive anti-theist, but I wouldn't ban people from practicing their religion or going to church on Sunday or going to a mosque or a temple or believing whatever they want to believe. That's part and parcel of a democracy. That's part and parcel of multiculturalism. That's part and parcel of being rational. You have to let people believe whatever they want to believe and do whatever they want to do as long as they're not hurting anybody else. So uh, here's my final point. After looking over all the cases, I have what I like to call a 50-50 doctrine with France. I think they got half of it right and half of it wrong. So in terms of the state banning overtly religious materials in public schools, I'm all for it. We have that in the US. You can't have a picture of Jesus in a public school because then you're discriminating against the Hindus and the Buddhists and everybody else and people who are non-religious. You can't have government institutions shove religion down people's throats. Not okay under any circumstances. So I'm for that. And then when they banned overtly religious materials being displayed in all public institutions, Rock and roll, government should not push any religion over another religion or religion over non-religion. That doesn't make sense. They're supposed to represent everybody. That's the whole purpose of government. So they're right there as well. And then when they banned overtly religious material in privately run institutions, on this one I'm 50-50, I'm half and half. Because uh, if you're gonna allow businesses to tell people you can wear uniform, you have to wear this uniform in order to work here, if that's the system you're going to have, then yes, they should be allowed to tell people you can't wear something that covers your face as you're working as a sales associate or whatever it is because you have to wear the uniform, okay? So I agree in that respect. But uh, at, by the same token, if you have a system where you tell people they don't have, a business can't tell them you have to wear a uniform or something like that, then they shouldn't be able to tell them you can't wear your religious stuff either. Because if you're giving them the freedom to wear whatever they want, religious stuff should be included in that as well. So I can go either way there. I'm 50-50 on that one. And then here's the two parts where they're wrong. You can't kick a girl out of your school for wearing some, you know, religious gear. Because then you're becoming authoritarian. So for example, if, so if a kid is wearing a cross when he goes to school in the U.S., 
can they kick him out and tell him to go home? No, of course not. The school, like a representative of the government, a teacher, a member of the school, a member of the government, they can't push religion. But if a student wants to wear a cross or wear a head veil or something like that, they should be allowed to do it. That's their right to do it. They're not part of the government. So they have the freedom to do that. So I think they're wrong on sending a girl home for wearing religious stuff. That just doesn't make sense. And then, of course, the burqa ban in public, that goes too far. You, I mean, you should wear whatever you want to wear in public. I mean, it's really not that difficult a concept to imagine here. It's almost like in the name of something that makes sense, so in the name of secularism, which is correct in my opinion, they overreached. And they said, look, we know we're right, so we're going to force you to be right. Well, no. Let them be wrong if they want to be wrong. If they want to wear the headscarf and, you know, to worship their god, let them do it. I mean, they're wrong in the sense their god doesn't exist, their god isn't real, and, you know, it's all nonsense at the end of the day, but they should be allowed to wear it in public. They should be allowed to do it. I don't want to cross the line and I don't want to become authoritarian because I don't want to be too much like them.